The guy finally got his car running, drove to Anchorage and said, I'm never coming back to Alaska. He goes, I believe they're after me when I'm up there. And I do believe they took my life and my wife. And there's really not much you can do about it when you have all the authorities working against you. So almost entrapment, though. They knew that he was leaving Spook's house. It looked like it was premeditated. Uh, again, similar to other things, that would be, again, major civil rights violations and ma major federal crimes. Uh, waiting for him, destroy his life, um, put him through the lawyer, revolving door, at least, you know, um, de definitely uh, appears to be entrapment. Um, what, uh, well, let's talk on. about even, real even right quick. right behind my house, there was a family by the name of Dan Urita. Um, literally some young 30 year old guy in, in, inserts himself into their lives. Moria is not behaving normal. I knew these people, they lived right behind my house. She's acting out like she's on some sort of being drugged or something. And she's got like this, you know, 30 year old kid, um, breaking into the middle of their family, causing a divorce. Um, it was horrendous. Um, this guy... Did Dan Metzger Spook invite you to any parties? Uh, you know, uh, anything that might be a pyramid scheme, pay-to-play scheme, anything like that? Well, yeah. I So I've, um, I found out, I got asked to join a group. If I kicked in $30,000... Um, they would get, I'd get a return on that investment and I would get anything and everything as far as protection and help literally where they have FBI people that could help with situations or issues. You have protection from the local law enforcement. Um, it was, uh, what was her name? Moria? No, um, Jokola. Um, Mrs. Jokola was telling me all about it and you buy into this, this program um, so it appears that's the deal that you get involved and all of a sudden you get paid you you get to pay to play you can get mortgages from your banker you can get uh, mortgages for home mortgages you can get construction mortgages um, you can have access to pharmaceutical drugs etc and um, so I did one time I got invited to a party and it was spook this guy Dan Metzger he invites me to this party, asked me to come over, and I was, you know, why would I want to go? I don't know these guys. He convinced me to teach the, to present my Steep Life Protocols Avalanche Educational Program, and that it was a snowmobile um, group party. I showed up, and as I'm in this big, huge million dollar house, I'm like wondering, like, these guys aren't all snowmobilers. What's going on here? This is kind of weird. I did my presentation, nobody paid attention, no one seemed to care. It wasn't about that at all, it was just to see if I was, um, how strong of an American I really was. And literally, um, I met bankers um, um, from Anchorage. Um, I met Doug Longacre there, he's the one of, the, I think, the vice president of First National Bank of Alaska. Um, I met Don, I don't know his last name, of Fly Alaska. He's not even a snowmobiler. Um, I met uh, different title, people from title companies, um, from different banks. Um, they were from all over the state. I mean, dead of winter to go to all the way to Valdez, Alaska um, for some sort of snow machine party. It wasn't a snow machine party. These were people that were businessmen and 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 people in the state of Alaska that I believe they were luring me in to see if I was worthy of their group. I was getting that double handshake, you know. Hi, good to see you. Nice to have you here. And looking you right in the eye. Um, you know, I probably said something like, you know, I'm pretty, pretty, you know, I'm pretty concerned about um, our, 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 um, our country right now with what's going on with the, with the, Corruption and things like that. I probably brought that up at the party. I definitely didn't uh, get invited to be part of the group So um, Let's talk about these addresses Salmon 810 Salmonberry Lane 1066 Child Streets or Woodway There's a few others. Yeah, let me go through and I'll find the marked ones So again to reiterate though these are marked addresses and and they were marked by the guy delivering fuel, the odd amount of 30 to 50 gallons. I mean, one might think that maybe they were delivering uh, something other than fuel from, from the effects and the strong association between 
the marked the marked addresses of, of the fuel delivery guy and what happened at these houses. It's a, a very strong association, if not possibly a, a, a cause and effect of, of what was being delivered there. Be interesting to look at the, the fuel delivery logs. Exactly. So mind you, this was a young man that was delivering fuel and I hired him to help move some, some uh, furniture and things. And he came over to my house and told me his story. Um, I mean, what boss in the world um, ignores somebody walking in saying, I almost committed suicide last night and I feel like I'm having mental issues and I believe it's being caused by my delivering of fuel. Um, he doesn't, uh, you know, go get him checked out at the, at the counseling center or, or a psychologist, at least get the kid checked out for safety's sake and make sure that he's not allergic to fuel or something like that. In this case, we now know it wasn't just fuel. It was something that was being added to the fuel that caused um, neurological damage to people and um, cancers and leukemias. Um, so I'll just go down the list here. I made a list on the computer. Um, this is serious. Um, the, what's, what's been going on? Um, so um, let's see. Uh, this was, um, I'll just go down. Yeah, 810 Salmonberry Lane, looks like okay, Mel yeah, so Melbourne. Ben, ben Bean's an important one. Um, ben Bean, and I might have the last name wrong. He's hard to find. He was a really nice guy. He was um, the stepfather of um, my son's best friend. Um, or, or the, uh, let's see, what was he? He was uh, married to Amber Melberg's mother and owned a big beautiful house on wood way um he basically no one knew anything about it supposedly he was on a four-wheeler and crashed down a hill and was trapped under his four-wheeler and blew his own brains out because he was trapped um this is a man that um worked physically all the time he had probably the most agro garden you've ever seen in your life he would haul um this seaweed all the way from the or this lake weed that grew grew in robe lake all load up a truck put it in his truck bring it home the guy would split kindling he delivered me a box of kindling one time where it's literally like 30 inch pieces that are like a quarter inch in diameter you know to split and make that kind of wood it was incredible um Basically, I'm pretty confident this was a life insurance um, for the pyramid pool investment scheme. Now his wife, um, Mrs. Miss Bean, um, the widow of Mr. Bean, is dying of cancer. Um, Sheldon Melberg and Amber Melberg literally built a home on Wood Way that sat empty for like four years. Supposedly couldn't sell, wouldn't sell. House would sell in less than a week in my town. They were pulling mortgages. Now it appears that there's a possibility that they're pulling mortgages um, and taking care of the finances for um, Ben Bean's um, ex or widow wife. Um, it's just is a normal stuff. The stuff that's going on in Valdez and the dead people and everything that's going on is not okay. Um, we did speak about Jerry Melberg. Um, he was my son's.